Hi everyone and welcome to the PHP series second lecture which is regarding variables. What are variables? So variables are containers to hold your value. That's simple. This is a very simple definition of variable is your container in which your value reside means hold. Karta hai. So in PHP I told you we start with something like this and inside this text you start writing your code. Like for example, we can have student name is equal to Rohan, Rohan Kumar. So this is a PHP variable, okay. And now we can have eco dollar student name like this. And now if you rush to your browser, if you rush to your browser and type variables.php, you see your name gets printed here on the page. Now PHP variables could also be like contact number is equal to 10 digits like this, hit save and then you can echo this as well followed by dollar sign if you reload you get this but you need a break inside this so for that a little trick is do it like this and inside this i told you our uh, html tag ये कर्ली ब्रेसेस के अंदर यूज कर सकते हैं तो इसका मतलब सेम है कि आप br जो html टैग होता है ब्रेक आप वो यूज कर रहे हैं इफ यू रीलोड यू गेट दिस इन द नेक्स्ट लाइन ओके सो लाइक दिस वी कैन यूज अ ब्रेक टैग इन php दैट मींस वी कैन आल्सो इनपुट we can also uh, make a variable hold float values like 10,500.10. And now if you say uh, print this variable and I will also put one break in between of these variables and I reload, they also hold float values as well. So this way you can make PHP variables and then perform certain operations. For example, I have a PHP variable, let's say uh, total records, total records is equal to let's say 10,000. Okay. And let's say I have counter is equal to 20. So now you can perform arithmetic operations on this as well using variables. Like this, you can always make your statements dynamic and these values are static but can come from database, all these values. And if I reload and I need to put one break in between, see now this is 500. That's 10,000 divided by 2500. So like this, you can make PHP variables and work with that. Thank you. This was pretty much it for the video. And if, it, and if you like the video, do hit that like button and comment down below if you need any some sort of extra content into it. And I will see you in the next video. Please do like and share my channel. And I will see you with the next topic in PHP.